Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a SOAP client so that you can retrieve information from your store via another website. Uh, you can do this actually with a PHP script and actually uh, query the data from your uh, store and display it right on that other website. But in order for this to work you need to have a SOAP uh, installed on your server. The way SOAP is installed depends on the type of uh, hosting account that you have. For example, if you're on a shared hosting account, it is best to contact the web host and ask them to install SOAP. If you are on a VPS or a dedicated server, you can actually install SOAP yourself via shell. Uh, if you're on a Linux server, you can use the yum command. If you're on a WHMC panel, you can use Easy Apache, which is what I used uh, prior to testing out the SOAP uh, feature in Magento. If you don't know how to use Easy Apache, you can actually uh, take a look at my other videos because I have one on Easy Apache. So to figure out whether you have SOAP uh, installed, you simply can create a new uh, file in your Magento installation directory. You can name that file info.php. And then you can simply edit the file and add the following code. PHP info function and then you can access uh, this this page to see whether soap is installed and as you can see I have soap enabled I have the client as well as the server so now once you know that you have soap installed you simply create a new file either on uh, another website or on in your Magento uh, directory to test out the SOAP client. In this case, I will test out the SOAP client in my Magento directory. So I will create the new file. And in this case, I'm going to retrieve uh, the category tree. So I will name the PHP file category tree.php. And then I will edit this file. and I will add the code from Magento to it. I will be using SOAP version 2. If you need uh, the link for this page, it's in the description of this video. And I'm going to add the PHP opening and closing tags. And note that uh, SOAP client Replace Magento host with your host. In this case, it's my store, isafeplaza.com. And as for the API user and API key, we will need to create this information. So we will need to go to our admin panel. So go to your Magento admin panel, and then go to system, and then go to web services. And first, go to roles. And now we're going to create a new role. Simply click on Add New Role. And I'm going to give this... Um, a name it's just going to be cats and role resource I'm going to choose what type of information I want to retrieve I can either retrieve all information or custom in this case I'm only interested in retrieving the category tree in this case I'm going to tick off retrieve category tree and I'm going to click save role Now after I have my role set up, I am ready to uh, set up a user. So I will go back to web services and I will click on SOAP users. And I will create this new user. And now I will create a username. In this case it will be cats once again. As for the API key, you can enter in anything you'd like. I'm going to enter in a custom password that I'd like to use for this. And now I'm going to go to user role and I'm going to select the role which is cats and I'm going to click on save user. So once you have created this information you will go back to the PHP file that we created earlier and we will enter in our username and our password. And we will save. 
And now since this file is located in the root directory of my store, I will just access it via my domain forward slash category tree dot PHP. And this is the category tree for my store. As you can see. So of course you can edit this file further and um, sort this information as you'd like and display it as you'd like and you can also uh, request other information such as checkout, customer, directory, sales and more. Just remember to edit the permissions uh, for each uh, user so that uh, you can actually retrieve the information. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.